Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Catrice Austin, the queen of smiles. We are live here at the Let's Talk Smiles podcast, and it is a special episode because today I am celebrating my three-year porcelain veneer smile makeover, and I see some of my favorite patients, my long-term patients, Mr. Ian Edwards comic is in the building. Oh, Ian, man, wait a minute. Ian was never my patient, but Ian is a damn good comedian. Hey, Ian, hello, you're out in Cali still? It's good to see you, one of the best writers and comedians in the business. Hey, Ian, hello, hello. Listen, I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of people who have been on team Dr. Catrice Austin for a long time, and I'm always happy to see uh, when you guys come in like Bikram Curls and Curves. Hey, girl, cheers to you a long time. Thank you for being here. We are celebrating my Smile Makeover anniversary. Three years ago in May, uh, which happens to be my birthday month, so we are celebrating that too. Uh, I got my smile finally finished. I wore braces when I was in high school, hated my smile. I always had a gap. I always had teeth that flared out a little bit, and I've always had a gummy smile. I want to show you guys my before. If you guys are new to following me, hey, Dr. Coach, hello, hello. Hey, Dar. Yes, that was fast, right, Dar? I mean, the time went by quickly. Let me cheers to my smile. Cheers to your smiles. If you're thinking about getting a new smile, I am here to answer all of your questions and we're going to celebrate new smiles. Tis the season. I know I waited a long time to finally get the smile that I've been wanting. And a lot of times you guys, you put off your smiles because of money, because of fear, because of lack of resources. You just don't know where to go. You just don't know your options. Well, today we're going to talk about my smile makeover. As a matter of fact, I want to show you my before. Uh, I've videotape my entire smile makeover. So if you guys never saw me with my gap closed or my gap open, I'm going to pull up the picture so you can see what I started off with, guys. All right. So this is me with my gap. I've had it since I was a little girl in elementary school. Always hated my smile. Um, I just, they were worse than this. This is after a round of braces in high school and wearing Invisalign. This is like a little improvement, but I still, uh, three years ago, that's how I walked into my dental office and I was not happy with my smile. You can see how gummy my smile is. You see more gums, the gums are dark, the teeth are short, and I just didn't like it. And apparently you guys didn't like it either because y'all used to tear me up on Instagram. <laughs> the people who are so rude that will say anything about your appearance, they used to talk about my teeth. Oh, you did Cardi B's teeth and look at your teeth. They are so cruel out there in the internet world. And um, I used to read the comments and I would a lot of times brush my shoulders off and act like it didn't bother me. But I read those comments in low key, even though I'm cute either way, gap or no gap. I'm just saying, let me give myself some horns for that. Even though I felt like I was still attractive. Hey, purple pill eater. Um, I just wanted to be perfect. If I'm going to be doing veneers on other people, I felt like I should have a a brand representation of having a beautiful and confident smile. So I did it, guys. So that was my smile before. And so I actually went to NYU, guys. My colleague was taking a course on veneers in New York City, and I decided she needed a patient. Her patient canceled at the last minute, and she needed a patient. And I was like, what better patient than I, I should be the patient and right. I'm cute either way, right? Hey, speech, speech. I see you. Um, so I went in in May three years ago to do my smile makeover. Now, let me pull up the picture of what I ended up doing. Boop. 
So the first thing that I did is I went in for a consultation. That's what all of you guys should be doing. Yeah. Oh, you need some implants. I see you. Yes, let's do it. The first thing you want to do when you're thinking about a smile makeover, which is what I have to do, is I went in for a consultation. Now, I went to my gum specialist in Manhattan for a consultation because I knew I needed to get rid of the gummy smile first. And so once I saw my gum specialist and I deter- it was determined that my gums were healthy and I had no cavities, then I knew I was ready to go. It was determined, now a lot of times when you need... Um, when you need gum surgery to do some alterations of the gums, and you can see my gum isn't as gummy as it was before, you have to do that first. And then a lot of times you have to wait four to six weeks for your gums to heal. But my gum specialist said, hey, you know what? This is going to be an easy gum lift. We could do it with a laser and it can be done on the same day as the veneers. So that just made my smile makeover that much easier easier. So let me show you a close up of my before. Hold on. Let's see. Boom. Here's a close up. So you can see, I mean, the teeth are really short right here and you can see the color guys. This was very, very important part of my decision to get veneers because you can see my teeth are like a off, they're a off white. They, they have a grayish kind of tone to them. And I've tried, I had, I tried whitening like a lot of you guys have tried whitening and it just wouldn't get pearly white. And so you can see on the color scale right here, there are different levels of teeth colors. And there are some teeth colors, the colors that are gray, the colors that are brownish, they don't, they don't receive the teeth whitening very well. And so I tried, I've gotten every teeth whitening product on the market and it just wouldn't whiten. So the other reason outside of me getting veneers was to improve the color of my teeth because when you get veneers, and if you guys never seen a veneer, it's a thin shell of porcelain that goes right over the front surface of your teeth. Hey, Monty Lines. Hello, hello, my boy. He is a social media Instagram real guru. Hey, my partner in crime. So this is a veneer and it's a thin shell of porcelain that goes right over the front surface of your teeth. Very much like a fake fingernail does the nail bed. It doesn't wrap around the circumference of your teeth. A lot of times, let me show you guys the difference. A lot of times you guys get veneers and crowns confused. You don't know the difference. So a crown goes over the entire tooth. You see that? That you, we have to trim around the circumference of the tooth. And then this cap, it literally covers the entire tooth goes over the teeth and that is full coverage of your tooth to protect the tooth from cracking. If you've had a root canal, crowns are indicated. But for cosmetic purposes, which is why I in, in, enhance my smile, you don't need to trim down the circumference of your teeth. Uh-huh. See there, this is a veneer. So it just goes right over the front. And that's what I got. So we were able to... Uh, we wanted to lengthen each one of these teeth so that it, 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 it lengthened the entire tooth and it made my gums less gummy. So I'm going to show you guys. Let me show you what that lasering looked like on visit one. And you can also see how much my tooth structure was drilled down because that's, that's one of the things that you guys are afraid of. You're afraid that we're going to destroy. You see those, those pictures of people going to Turkey and they call, they call it veneers, but it's really crowns and they're really drilling the entire tooth down to a nub. That's not what veneers are. So let me show you. Here are my gums lasered. So on the same day as my veneers, this is actually how much tooth structure was drilled away for my veneers. And this is actually how much my gums were lasered. So you can see the difference of how my teeth look longer. Thank you so much. I am the Pino. Hello. Thank you so much. We are celebrating my smile makeover, my birthday month, and your smile makeover too, if you're on the journey to 
improve your smile. And because I have gone through the veneer process, I want to show you guys step by step what I had to go through and um, show you the final result. Now, this is going to be visit one. I'm going to show you the end result. So visit one, we got me numb. We then lasered my gums. So if you see a little bit of that blackness, um, that's actually a piece of cord that's underneath. With the laser, it's really, really clean surgery. There's no knives. There's no scalpels. But in one day, they were able to lift my gut, my gums up and make my gums, my smile less gummy and my teeth longer. And so we only started with the top three years ago. Uh, I did this at NYU's uh, aesthetic advantage. Uh, they have a whole aesthetic center. So when I tell some of you guys that you can save money by going to NYU, you can literally not fly out the country. You can stay right here in the United States. You could come on to New York City and go to NYU. You can have it done by doctors at NYU. You can have it done by students at NYU. Of course, the prices are going to be different. You could do it as a a student patient at their aesthetic advantage course. There's so many ways that you could get your smile done affordably. And that's what I did. I went to NYU's aesthetic advantage and I got my smile done. So this is what it looks like with my gums lasered. And now I'm going to show you the after. Da, 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 da. Let me show you what it looks like. Boop, 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 boop. Boom. Hey, that's right after the procedure. My lip is numb, but you can see now when I smile, you don't see so much gums and I love it. Oh, it just changed my ability to smile with confidence. Um, before I used to like kind of turn my head. I had a good side and a bad side. Now today, every side is a good side. That's right after the procedure. And let me show you the before and after picture. Da -da -da. There you go. That is me right after the procedure. And what a difference. Now, these are the temporary veneers. And they look really, really good, right? A lot of times, and this is how you walk out the door on visit one. So when you get a smile makeover, when you walk out the door, if your dentist plans everything out, now there is a lot of planning that goes before we actually start drilling your teeth. We take moldings of your teeth or we take a wand and a digital scanner and we get a digital imprint of your teeth. We send that to the lab. I use Frontier Dental lab frontier veneers is where it's at and they will design and give us a blueprint of what it's going to look like before the dentist gets started so the reason they were able to give me a beautiful smile temporarily is because we planned everything out and you can see with the temps my teeth are straighter the gap is closed um, the temps are wider and everything looks good you can see in this picture my gums are a little red right where some of the lasering is but everything healed up really nicely now under normal circumstances you will go home you're going to be careful eating you're going to be careful not to have anything that will stain your veneers that are temporaries the temporaries are really really uh they're not as uh, color resist resistant as the porcelain veneers. Hey, mama be styling. My mama is in the building. Let me give her a horn. The temporaries will stain very easily and they can chip and crack really easily. I have to tell you, they are, uh, they're great because you get a sneak preview of what it's going to look like, what the final veneers are going to look like, but they are, you got to be careful. They can chip, they can crack, they can stain, especially if you eat like yellow curry or turmeric and those things that really stain your actual, your actual teeth really easy can stain the temps. So you got to be a little careful. You cannot floss between, between your temps. They're kind of locked together like a grill. So you have to be careful with brushing. You can't floss. So you have to really, really take care of your teeth. 
And under normal circumstances, you'll wear the temporary teeth for about one to two weeks. Depending on your dental office, depending on the lab that they're using, you'll wear the temps for quite a while. I mean, it's actually not that long. It seems like forever because you're waiting for your real teeth. But for me, I actually had to wear my teeth for a whole month because it was a, 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 a training facility and there were other people getting their smile makeovers done. We had to wait a whole month for everybody's smiles to get designed and created before I could get my permanent veneers. But it was cool because my gap was closed. I was looking good and I was happy. Uh, oh, you're from Detroit. What up, though? Oh, well, listen, I have an office in Flint, Michigan. I do. I mean, I'm I, I'm not there that often, but come on to the, you. You will like the New York office a lot better, but I do have an office in Michigan. So we can start your consultation in Detroit and then you can come to New York and do your smile makeover. I can tell you guys that many of my patients come from all over the United States from, from Florida. Uh, I just had someone in from Wisconsin. Uh, for, uh, they come from everywhere. 75 North. That's right. So, uh, people come from everywhere. And if you are guy, if you guys are looking for a, a consultation and you want to know if you're a candidate for veneers, you can head over to bipsmiles.com and you can start a smile makeover consultation for free. You can get a free before and after picture if you want to see what your smile could look like if you were to get uh, veneers and you want to see or you, you're you missing a tooth, you want to see what it's going to look like, you can get a free before and after picture. Just click on the link in my social media bio and it'll take you right to VIPSmiles.com. Uh, <laughs> somebody said, what? You're not a Piston fan? Listen, I'm going to tell you guys, today the Knicks played in the Eastern Con Conference um, semifinals and they lost. They lost to the Indiana Pacers. And I have to tell you, when I got to New York in 96, I was an Indiana Pacer fan. I know you guys in New York hate me for saying, saying this, but I was a Reggie Miller fanatic. Like that is my boo. And yet they needed Reggie Miller tonight to suit up in the Nick uniform so they could get those three pointers and win. Ah, oh, yes. Hey, Nunu. Hey, let me give my girl some horns. Nunu is in the building. The city is quiet. I watched it today. Uh, and man, oh man, the Knicks were really disappointed. Knicks fans were really, really disappointed. So uh, back to the smile makeover. I wore my temps for a month and then I went back for a second visit. And on the second visit, you get numb. The dentist is going to take out the temps and then try on the veneers. Now the veneers are, 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 are more strong. They're more lifelike. They are, uh, stain resistant. They are exactly what you need to give you that smile that you desire. Now the, Individual veneers are going to be tried in with a temporary glue. And for me, I got 10 on the top. And we try them in first. You get a chance to look at them. And here's the disclaimer. When you go in to have your veneers tried in, make sure you have a look at them before the dentist uses permanent glue. Because that is a point where you can say, hey, Dr. Austin, I wanted them more square. Hey, Dr. Austin, this one's too long. Hey, Dr. Austin, the color is too white. We can make changes, guys. We don't have to put them in just because we have the veneers back from the lab. If there is something that we can adjust right here in the office, we will adjust them. If they're too square, we'll round the corners off. If they're too long, we can shorten them. If they're too short, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. We have to send them back. And it's okay. The lab is not going to charge us. They hate when we send them back. But sometimes they just don't come back right. A lot of times they come back right. Right, and you do get to walk away with them because you love them. But if they're too short or the color is completely off, because sometimes if the color is off just a little bit, I can use a different color glue to control the color. But once you guys say you like them, 
then we are going to use that permanent glue that is going to lock to the inside of your teeth and bond to your teeth. And when they're bonded to your teeth, under most circumstances, they are on to stay. Now, can they come off? Yes, they can. I'm not going to lie. You guys have seen the stories. You've seen Nelly, you've seen Cardi, you've seen people's veneers and crowns come off. It is a part of dentistry. There is not a dentist in the land who's never had a crown or veneer pop off. I guarantee that it is. Uh, we try to control it. That all has to do with making sure that the bite comes together properly and is equilibrated properly so that there's no interferences when you bite down. Sometimes when you get the veneers in on day one, your mouth is numb and you can't really tell if the bite is closing down properly. Properly. It really happened to me when my veneers went in, I got home and the next day my bite was just a little bit off. So it was a little interference. Thank God I'm a dentist because I was able to go to the office and adjust my own bite. But if you guys feel like your bite is not closing down all the way properly, you let your dentist know, we bring you back for a follow-up, we make the adjustments, and we make sure everything is balanced out so that you don't have any problems. Now, if you grind your teeth at night or clench them when you're stressed, then you should wear a mouth guard, something that looks like this, over your veneers at night so that you put all the pressure and the tension on your guard and not on your teeth. If you're putting pressure on your teeth, if you're cracking crab legs like my client Cardi B does, if you're chewing on ice, if you're eating a lot of nuts, all those things can harm your natural teeth. So you have to be uh, expecting that if you're doing those things and you're participating in those oral habits, that the same things that can happen to your own teeth that will make them chip and crack can happen to your own veneers as well. You can get cavities surrounding your veneers and in, in your teeth. You could get gum disease as well. So how you maintain your veneers is going to answer one of the most popular questions that I get, which is how long do veneers and crowns last? They can last a lifetime, guys. Yes, they can last forever, just like your own teeth can last forever. So if you if you take care of them by brushing, by flossing, by um, rinsing your mouth with uh, antibacterial mouth rinse, you can expect that they're going to last a long time. You're going to get your money's worth. So I want to open up the floor if there are any questions. Let me see if I missed any comments. Nunu said, I need my teeth done. Hey, Floss Boss DDS. Hello, hello. I'm definitely interested. I'm from Tennessee. Hello, Barnett. Jammy, hello, hello. Well, head over to VIPSmiles.com. You'll see a lot of resources. If you're watching the or listening to the Let's Talk Smiles podcast, know that the information is going to be down below in the show notes. So I want to open up the floor to questions. I'm going to show you guys one more time my before. Boop. That was me three years ago, guys. I went in and got veneers on the top arch first. This is my after. Let's see. Let me show you the after. Boop. That is the after immediately on visit one, me walk out, walking out the door with my temporary veneers. And you can see right here, my, my final veneers. I got a color that was slightly off the normal color scale. Um, B1 is the lightest color that your teeth can naturally get with whitening. I went a tiny bit, a tiny bit off the color scale to give a, um, Really, because I'm on camera a lot. I'm doing news and TV and shooting videos. So I wanted a nice, natural, but just slightly whiter smile. And this is the color that a lot of people like when they come in. I don't give you guys, if you come to me, I don't give you the white, 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 white. No, I want it to look natural. So that is my claim to fame. I don't do that supernatural white that looks like chiclets. I want them to look like 
teeth. So if you guys um, come to me, no, we're going to make the teeth look like teeth. OMG. One of my favorite people, and I know I have been saying this all day. Hey, Eric L. Beats, I, I didn't get a chance to talk to you today. You were busy. Book, 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 book. You were busy on the turntables, but I did come out to support. Oh, Nix, Nix, Nix. Oh, they broke a lot of hearts today. Um, the Indian is in the building. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, the Indian, I miss you so much. It is time for us to hang out again. That is my boy. Hey, Tyrone. Hello, Juicy Couture. We're talking about my three-year smile makeover. If you guys missed it, I used to have a gap, but I don't have a gap anymore. That is what my teeth used to look like. They were like a grayish brown. They were short and stubby. Uh, the dark gums there, I mean, which is a part of being a person of color. Cheers to my smile makeover. Cheers to your smile makeovers. Um, that was my smile. And so I tried whitening, guys. I tried it. I have every whitening product in the planet. And it just would not get to the whiteness that I deserve to have. So veneers was the solution for me. And it may be the solution for you if you've tried whitening and you just didn't get that white. New, new, I know last two weeks of this month. Oh, I hope so. some of you guys can take advantage of it. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Here's the best part. Here is the best part, guys. I decided... After doing, let me just take a little sip. I decided after doing that video that I joined with all the celebrity dentists in the United States, Dr. Rose, Dr. Amira, Dr. Um, Q, um, who else? Memphis Dentist, Dr. Treb. We all got together and we did this PSA about veneer text veneer text what are they it's not a real job it's a fake scam impersonation of dentists these people are out here pretending to be dentists they don't have no right no legal no legal reason they can do veneers no training no formal training by some dental entity they just out here watching youtube university and they are doing these veneers now um a lot of people have been hurt by these veneer texts. I'm gonna show you guys the smile makeover that I'm doing this week on a patient that went to a, a veneer tech. Oh, it is so sad, but I'm gonna be fixing the problem. And I decided that I want to help anybody out there that needs veneers at a severe discount. I'm gonna open up, here's the big announcement, guys. I am going to open up Four slots per month. Four slots for value veneers with me. If you guys are on a severe budget, now you're going to have to go to my website. You're going to have to apply, fill out the application, and do a smile makeover consultation. And you can tell me in the application if you're applying for one of the four veneer slots. I'm doing one per week. I, when I say severe discount, this is for the people who deserve to smile. They don't have a lot of money. They need to smile makeover. They've seen a veneer tech and they have been messed up. I can't do, I can't give everybody a discount on a regular, but I'm going to open up four slots per month. And it's going to be a crazy discount where you will be able to afford it. Stay tuned. Let me show you the smile makeover that I am going to do this week. This is what inspired me, the video that we did. And this young lady that came in who had seen a veneer tech. Now here is, hold on. Hold on, let me get the before. The, here we go. All right, so this is the smile makeover that I'm going to start this week. The young lady is in the public eye. She has 
<sighs> a lot of gum inflammation. You can see on the top, her gums are red and swollen because she went to a veneer tech. You can see how some of the veneers have already popped off on the bottom. You can see how the teeth were not even after she got the veneers from a veneer tech. And the veneer tech actually ordered veneers these are porcelain veneers that the veneer tech that I don't know how she got them. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. She actually got them from a place that she had no business getting them a place that I don't even want to tell. I don't want to give you guys any ideas, but she got them from a place that sends veneers to non dentists and she put them on the teeth without drilling. And you can see this is not cosmetic. This is the teeth are crooked. They're bulky, they're, they're placed incorrectly. That's why the gums are swollen on the top. And she came to me to correct it. You guys don't understand how many calls we get to correct these smile makeovers, and it is a lot. So that's the smile makeover that I am going to do today. Oh, not today, this week. <laughs> and I can't wait to help her. So once again, we're going to be opening up four slots per month for the summer. For the summer, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it all year long, but I want you guys to smile. So if you know anybody that needs a smile that may have seen a veneer tech and they need to undo what somebody else, the wrongs that another person, be it a dentist or a veneer tech, has done, then get at your girl, Dr. Catrice Austin. Go to the website, VIPSmiles.com. You can hit the contact form and say value slot, value veneers. I need... I would say I went to a veneer tech. Tell me your story. And if you're a candidate, I will work with you to give you a smile at a discount. I can only do four per month. That is it. All right, guys. So I have shared with you my um, smile makeover journey. It has truly been a life changing experience. I know a lot of people um, think that uh, they are not able to get this smile makeover because of money, because of fear, because they just don't know where to go. You think you can't afford it and uh, you just count yourselves out. And I want you guys guys to know that um, I understand the journey. I understand wanting to have a beautiful, healthy, and confident smile by way of getting veneers. And uh, veneers truly changed my life three years ago, and that's why we're celebrating. Um, I am so happy with my smile. And now when you guys come to me um, as just as your smile coach or to actually do your smile makeover, I understand the whole process. I understand uh, mentally what you've been going through. I understand the desire to have that pretty smile, and I certainly understand how life-changing it could be because as soon as I got my teeth done, I got a <laughs> five-figure Listerine deal where I went on TV, like 30 TV stations, and I represented Listerine as their spokesperson. And the first thing that a lot of those newscasters said was, wow, look at your smile. There is not a day that I go uh, out into the world and I don't get a compliment on my smile. It is your business card. It is your mood ring. It is your welcome come here, a greeting card. It is uh, everything. And if you guys are out there and you've been thinking about a smile, um, do like your girl, Dr. Catrice Austin, and get your smile made over. Now, if veneers is not the route that you want to take, it's okay. I actually wrote a book called Pour Some Veneers versus Clear Aligners, where we talk about, you know, if you have cricket teeth or you have spaces, the two options are usually getting braces or veneers. And if you have been wondering which option is best for you, well, you can um, you, you can definitely reach out to me. You can get a copy of the book. I have copies in my Instagram uh, stories where you can download a free copy only for the rest of this month. I might give you guys a free copy, but I am here to coach you guys on what you can do to have a beautiful, healthy, and confident smile. I'm glad someone cares. It's not a good feeling. I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. My mama will tell you I grew up not 
happy with my smile and braces, you know, came in and saved the day at one point. I just did not follow the rules and I didn't wear my retainer for the rest of my life. And a lot of guys that a lot of people who get braces don't wear their retainer and they have a relapse. Um, so sometimes veneers is, are the way to go so that you don't have to worry about that relapse. So um, I'm here to answer any questions before I sign off of the Let's Talk Smiles podcast. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you want to go on live with me and, and ask your question, please do. I am here. I am an open book. I would love to hear from you. If you have a question, you can type it down below and I will answer it before I sign out. Uh, you guys can listen to the Let's Talk Smiles podcast everywhere that you listen to podcasts. And we are now a part of the LA Tribune Podcast Network. You will see lots and lots of great episodes coming up. Uh, you don't want to miss it. So if I don't see any questions popping up, we're going to sign out for today. Oh, thank you guys for tuning in. We're celebrating smiles and I cannot wait to get to your smile questions, your smile makeovers. Um, and I want you guys to just tune in every time you hear, you see or hear me about to go live, tune in because you guys know I'm always dropping gems. So have a great day, guys. Bye. Welcome to the VIP Smiles 7 Day Healthy Smile Workout Challenge. Are you ready for a beautiful, healthy, and confident smile in just 7 days? Well, if you ever wanted to kickstart your journey to a stunning smile, get ready because this challenge is here to transform your smile into a winning smile. In just 7 days, you're going to uncover smile secrets that have your teeth looking fabulous you're going to receive expert advice straight from a celebrity dentist picture this you a dazzling smile and tips from the queen of smiles dr catrice austin that's me all without spending a dime our seven day challenge is here and guess what it is totally free no hidden fees just loads of good vibes and a journey to a healthier smile we're gonna make this journey a fun journey now here are four reasons why you should join our challenge. You don't want to miss this. In just one week, you're going to experience bite-sized daily wisdom, which will be quick, practical lessons to elevate your oral care routine. You're going to get exclusive videos, which will be expert guidance from me right in your inbox every single day. You're going to have access to a supportive community where you'll have the opportunity to connect with fellow participants, share your experiences, and cheer each other on. And of course, what would a challenge be without having access to special offers? So join the challenge today and you'll be on your way to a healthier smile. See you in the challenge.